Breaking news, the U.S. soldier who ran across the border from South Korea in July is now in U.S. custody. The Pentagon says U.S. officials have secured the return of Private Travis King from North Korea. In a statement, the Department of Defense thanks the governments of Sweden and China for their help. Senior Pentagon reporter Louis Martinez is at the Pentagon. Louis, what's the latest? They and the latest is that Travis King is back in U.S. custody after North Korea announced earlier today that they were going to expel him. Remember, he was the American soldier who crossed across the demilitarized zone in the peace village there in Panmunjom after ha having joined a tour group. Uh, he had been in North Korean custody there since July. Um, since then, we had heard stories about what his motivations were um, and potentially what uh, North Korea was going to do about him. Was he going to become a bargaining? chip was there some indications that they would rather be done with him and it appears that that is the case uh, we have confirmation from the Pentagon and a US official that Travis King is back in US custody uh, the Pentagon announcing that they are grateful for the work that they provided uh, to uh, the United States in securing his release by Sweden and the People's Republic of China uh, the United States does not have diplomatic relations with Ch uh, with North Korea so therefore we rely on Sweden to be what is called our protecting power so it appears that the Sweden played some key role in the transfer of uh, Travis King back into U.S. custody. Now, what happens next? It appears is that he will likely be sent back to the United States at some point to undergo what is called reintegration. Uh, that is a process where people who have been held either against their will in other countries, like, let's say, Bo Bergdahl, who was held by the Taliban for years, where they go through a process where they uh, get to be, they receive psych, uh, psychological counseling, uh, they receive additional treatment. Um, but for now, very few details on that. All we know for now is that Travis King is back in U.S. custody. Custody. All right, Senior Pentagon reporter Louis Martinez at the Pentagon. I know you're staying on top of it, Louis. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.